Blessings. Today we're going to cover Let Praises Rise. We're going to cover the Be Glorified section of that song. I've already made a tutorial on the, um, the, the verses and the choruses of the song, but this is the, um, the Trey McLaughlin version, or his cover of the song, and he added a section in it. Where they're singing Be Glorified. I just wanted to cover that a little bit today. Before we get started, I would just uh, ask that uh, if this is your first time visiting the channel, I would ask that you would hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the notifications button so that uh, anytime I upload a new tutorial, uh, you could be uh, notified. If you haven't subscribed yet and you've been here before, I ask this is today is your opportunity. I ask that you go ahead and hit that button so that I could advance. And get this information out to as many people who need it. All right. The song is in the key of G flat or F sharp. G flat is the one. A flat is the two. B flat is the three. B is the four. D flat is the five. E flat is the six. F is the seven. Back to that. G flat. I'm not really going to go over too much of the, the verse and the choruses of the song. Like I said, I've already made it another tutorial. If you haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out. It's on the channel. I'm going to play through some of it so that we can get to that section of, of the song. Quickly, the song is following what it's saying. In the left hand, you got E flat, B, G flat, D flat. Song is following a six, four, one, five. Six, four, one, five is the, uh, in this section is the, uh, pattern of the song um sharing the uh number system of course this song has been recorded by several different artists and uploaded in different keys and so if you're a beginner or and if you don't know if you're singing in a different key this is six four one five on the six in the, in the left hand, we have E flat octaves, E flat, A, F, B flat, E flat. I'm rolling those. In the right hand, we have a, uh, I mean, in the left hand, we have an inverted E flat minor chord. So I have B flat, D flat, E flat, and G flat. Left hand we have that B and that G flat. Right hand we have that B, D flat, E flat, G flat. Left hand we have G flat, D flat, G flat. Right hand we have E and B flat, D flat. 
and G flat. So we have uh, in in the right hand that is an, a G flat major chord. All right, next chord, D left hand D flat, A flat, D flat, right hand, A flat, E flat. I'm sorry, A flat, D flat, E flat, and F. So we have so far we have. Does that several times, and then it does a change to it goes to the um, all I want section. So, all right. I did a couple of passing chords. In the in the uh, left hand we got Fs octaves. Right hand we have a D flat major chord inverted. I'm not going to call out all the notes again. And then we go to this uh, G flat major chord again. G flats in the in the left hand. Uh, G inverted G flat major chord in the right. All right, now we got left hand A flat, E flat, A flat. Right hand we got B, E flat, G flat, A flat. Pretty much we have an A flat minor seventh chord. Right, left hand, you're gonna uh, do B flat. You could do B flat and and uh, G flat, or you could just do the B flat. And right hand, we have a another inverted G flat major chord. B flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, D flat, G flat. I'm using that as a passing tone. So so far we have. to that B flat major chord or that B flat add two. G flat major. D flat major again. So let's just go through that again. So Coming out of that, does this this uh, section several times in the song, but it also does that going into the Be Glorified section. So, coming out of All I Want, All I major in the right back to that B major back to that E flat minor then you can go to this left hand 
F again. Right hand inverted E of D flat major chord. That is A flat, D flat, F, and another A flat. So let's just do that again. section so we go into that section on a G flat chord G flat octaves in the left hand right hand we got G flat B flat D flat you could throw in that A flat too and I'm gonna show you the simplest way first so G flat major chord or G flat add two your left hand's not changing right now. Your left hand's going to stay on that G flat chord. Your right hand is going to an E major inverted chord. So uh, you have B, E, A flat. So, so far you got. It. Fan stays the same. Right hand is going to inverted uh, B major chord again. But we got it uh, E flat, G flat, B. Now this time, your left hand is going to an E. Octaves, your right hand is going to B. G-flat to that A-flat. All right, so let's let's go that over that again. In the, in the left hand, we glorify, but it, it actually is easy to do in a rhythm like this. Right hand is doing all the work pretty much. And let me show you some things that can add to that. The way I played it the first time, when I play that, I'm playing. Alright, so what is that? That first movement is going to be. That, that G flat chord. To inverted B major chord. Back to uh, an inverted G flat chord to a B major chord. So that was. Alright, so the second time. Second time when you you start out on an inverted B chord to an inverted G flat chord, and I actually there I'm just playing a D flat and a A flat, and then I'm going to this chord. 
that that's that's the only time your left hand changes it goes to that E. The right hand goes to that B, that D, that E, and that G flat. And this is actually what it inverted. It's actually an E flat one three five seven nine E flat nine chord. It's actually E flat nine chord inverted. So let's do that again. the section of the song I wanted to cover. I hope this helps. If this helps you at all, I would ask that you would subscribe. That if you know someone who, who this possibly could help, I'd ask that you would share with them. Leave your comments in the comments section. Let me know how I possibly could serve you better. Stay blessed. Focus. And remember, God wants you to go and he wants you to grow. Blessings.